What's up everyone, Maurice here. So today I'll be showing you some more web scraping and like I said before, getting data that you're interested in from a website can be a fun way to learn Power BI. In my case, I created this NBA dashboard. I thought it was a, it was a fun little project. Today specifically, I wanted to sh demonstrate the get data from web by example in Power BI. I think it's an amazing feature. To demonstrate that, I'm going to show you how I used it to grab the team logo for each of the NBA teams. So let me open up a new Power BI project. Let me show you the ESPN website that we're gonna be using to get these logos. So here is this the uh, ESPN NBA standings website. It has a list of all the teams and their logos. We want to select league. It makes the table format a little bit easier to deal with. Copy this link and we're gonna hit new source and web paste that link in here and we're going to use add table using examples so this feature here uh, what you're doing is providing power bi a couple of examples and it's smart enough to determine what you want from the website what's cool about it is that you can extract so much information from the website that's not visible or easily obtained from a website so first we're going to start off with getting the teams names and the very first team here is the Utah Jazz, just listed here. The second team is the Phoenix Suns. And usually it just takes two examples and it will be able to figure out the rest, which it does here. And now for the team logos, and I'm still impressed by this feature. So we'll call it team logos URL. If you type in Utah, you can kind of make out what the which URLs for the team logos. You can see it says team logos here, and then at the end it says Utah. So we know this is going to be the team logo. So next for the Suns, and we're looking for Phoenix. This is this this is uh, the team logo for the Phoenix Suns here. And like I said, it usually just takes two examples, and it's able to figure out and fill in the rest of the data for you. That's pretty much it for the team logos. I mean, we can extract other data here, but in this video, I'm just gonna show you the logos. Hit okay. So now we got our table. We'll just call it team logos. And just a quick tip here, whenever you see ABC123, uh, that means Power BI doesn't know what data type it is. We'll change this to text type. Close and apply. Let me show you what happens if you throw this in the table. So right now we just have the, the links here. And um, to get that to display the actual image, the actual logo, if you highlight the field team logo, you're going to want to change the data category and select image URL. And now you have those nice logos for all the teams. Yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to show off that feature from Power BI. I really, I really like that feature. Uh, you can extract all sorts of data using the um, get data from web by example. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and hopefully it was helpful. Again, if you guys want to connect, my LinkedIn is in the description. Um, let me know if you need help with Power BI or have any questions. I'm looking forward to making more of these videos, so I'll see you guys on the next one.